Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to perform noto, putting the sword away. But first, I'm going to show you a very, very important concept while doing that. And it's probably not what you think. Now watch. Hi guys, uh, Tom here, the Budo Academy. So what I want to talk about today is um, an important part of Noto that a lot of people miss and a lot of folks don't, don't really understand. Um, but first I want to open up by saying there are several sword schools out there. And amongst those schools there are several lineages out there. And amongst those lineages there are several teachers out there. So different teachers teach different things. So please don't you know, take what I'm saying today as in concrete and that's the only way to do it. Absolutely not. So keep that in mind, okay? I'm just, just passing along what I've learned and been taught uh, along the way. So no toe. No toe is when you put your sword away because you're done with it. And I had one teacher tell me, why are you in such a rush to put your sword away? Why are you in such a rush to put your weapon away? And it took me a while to figure that one out. Um, What's important to understand is before you're even putting the sword away, before you're even thinking about putting it away, you've got to make sure it's safe to do so. And how do we demonstrate that is by zanshin and same, which is pressure. So regardless of which chiburi you've performed to cleanse your blade, uh, we'll just do a flick one here. After you've done your flick chiburi, well, what you want to do is demonstrate a little bit of pressure here. Okay? by just a slight movement forward and some intensity going in that direction. And your hand goes from your hip to your sire. And this part's done quick and that part's done slow. And I'll explain why in a second. But first I want to talk about the different levels of competency and the beginner's way to figure out whether you're at a certain level of training is at the noto. Because that's the most obvious one. For, uh, for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience. So for Shoden, beginner, we do Noto very slow. And you get to put both hands together and you get the whole blade along that left hand to feel, to feel, to drop in and then put in, okay? Chuden, or middle level, you get half the sword. About halfway here, so you get to feel half your blade running along your left hand, which is a big part of knowing when to drop it in. Okuden, or advance, you just get a little bit. See, that's it. That's all you get. And then you can put it in. The reason for that, well, one reason, not the reason, a reason is we're going to go back to Nukitsuke and Furikaburi for a second. After we've done our draw, the next step is the finishing cut, right? The reason we have the time to bring the sword way back here is because we've cut our opponent, hopefully, and that gives us the time to put the business end of our sword behind us. Because conceptually and combatively, not a very good thing to do is to put our weapon behind us. But if we want to have that big, strong cut, it has to come from downtown at the beginning. So we've cut our opponent. Gives us the time to come back here and do a big cut. Well, if you look at Noto, the first part of it, look where the sword is. The business end of it. It's back there again. Just about the same position it was here. So that's why I want to get it out of there quick. Now, it's next to me in case I have to use it, in case I should not have started to put my sword away. I can still take care of business. So regardless of your, whether you're doing the Shoden or the Chuden or even the Okuden, this part's done quickly to get your weapon back to a good spot for use. Looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Here, it's going to take about twice as long because we have about an extra 29 inches or so away from the opponent. Okay? So when you move on to intermediate, the sword's not that far away now. And when we move to Oku or deep level, it's, it's already right there. So these are things you've got to think about. 
and why we do them. Pressure, quick. But at the beginning, still practice this slow until you get pretty good at it. This is quick. This part's done slow for beginners because the blade is relatively closer to your opponent in case you have to cut during the portion, uh, the noto portion of the waza. Now, how do we actually perform the noto? 